guys welcome back to the jquery chart for asp.net video tutorial this is the third video tutorial and we are gonna talk about next two chart controls provided by the google chart apis okay and uh, the two chart are the one is calendar chart and the second is the candlestick chart right so I'm gonna start with the calendar chart it's a very simple okay according to the year we are managing the data okay let me show you the example first okay. calendar chart like this okay whenever you pass the data it will automatically assign to particular date on particular month okay suppose I am assigning a uh, 15th April that is this then 16 then 17 and then 14 okay this chart will get automatically generated by the Google API's okay uh, it's depend on what kind of data you are passing okay according to the data it will create uh, the year based structure right so let's uh, see the code I have imported uh, some packages related to the calendar control then after draw chart method the same data table that is the column first column is date and the second column is uh, won and loss here is the important thing first I have added for the 2012 with the third month and 13 14 15 16 and 17 okay so here I am adding one more date with a different month that is here the same month is 14 and date is 17 okay and same way in 2013 all about the num month number 9 so I am adding a extra month that is month number 10 with 25 okay after that we have used the calendar chart assign a div options have some title and uh, height that is the 350 just save it and come make it control f5 press it control f5 it's taking a little bit time to download the library so just wait for a while Hey guys, data has been loaded. So here you can check the, on the 17th. We have added a one more day, so it will get highlighted. And same way in 2013 with this 25 November. Okay, at once you can manage your data according to the calendar controls, right? So coming to the next tutorial, that is the next chart is the candler sticks chart. Okay, this is a little bit a very different chart compared to other ones. Okay, like this. This is the simple chart. Here you can specify the 20 to 45 and 28 to 38. Okay, this is the different uh, range of on a day Monday. Okay, these are the six days, five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And this is the numbers which we have given on that day okay 50 to 80 and 55 to 70 and here it's a downgrade 77 to 50 and 77 to 66 okay same way 68 to 50, 15 and uh, 66 to 22 okay so let's see the code code is a little bit difficult to understand guys okay the other ones are the same code chart you have to import that and a draw chart method with the date array to data table these are the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. These are my days, and these are the four different parameters. Okay, for the parameters, you have to follow the calendar sticks chart controls details. Okay, uh, let me show you the details. Mm.
it's a four to five different parameters you have to pass that that is the day then after column uh, column average width and all that okay these are the different options which you can use with the option method in this chart control okay so uh, let me add some more details for this okay suppose I'm adding one more column to my data let's check whether it's working or not right now I'm gonna refresh the control F5 but here I'm getting an error that is the last domain does not have enough data column missing three okay for this you have to manage the series okay after the fourth column these are the different data okay so we have to specify a simple SERIES series and uh, we're gonna add the first series that is type is equals to line okay now let's control F5 yeah now if you notice 60 70 90 30 and 10 60 70 90 30 and 10 suppose I'm gonna add one more column in this 90 80 100 110 and 20 okay if I, I refresh right now still I'm getting an error the same error which we got the earlier so here I have to specify one more series that is the series number 2 and then control F5 it will create one more series for you with the last column data right 90 80 100 100 and the last one Twenty, right okay and one more thing if you want a legend you can specify that do not specify the none it will create a three different dots but we have to assign a name for that then you have to check the legend property let me copy this legend and uh, find a column legend none okay this is the legend extra properties so just replace this position top textile blue font size 16 okay legend dot alignment len max line position textile orientation let refresh this okay the orientation get changed position top so I'm gonna change it to the right okay and I'm gonna add one more column at my top let's say this is the day this is the size height weight size height how many parameters are there one two three four five six and seven day one two three four size height weight 
duration 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay the a b e r a g e average and b e r c e n t a g percentage oops zero one two three four five six seven one two three four five six three three six and seven right okay one sec uh, I think there is some mistake. It's not accept. Oops, it's my mistake, guys. I forgot to specify comma okay now it's I think it's loading so let's check it out okay the data columns for x is 0 cannot be of type string zero 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 and zero okay it's done okay let's uh, talk about all this stuff on uh, other day so right now I don't know about this so we'll talk on this chart in my later video tutorials guys if you want uh, to know about the bubble chart bar chart area chart annotation chart and calendar chart you can watch my earlier video tutorials and as well this one so don't forget to subscribe this channel till then bye bye